wonder where this is. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Razor. So, welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Galaxy. In the previous episode, we made our way through the desert some more, and we're here at the end of it. We're gonna head up down to the altar where that blue star is. In between episodes, though, I finished the battle recorder. For the Silvazar Desert, except for... Hey, how long we gotta stand around here? Except for Living Lava. I got 11 more, or 12 more Living Lavas to fight, but I read online that we're, they're more common later on, so I'll just wait till later to do them. Let's go and exchange the points of the ones we've done for now. The 30 Scorpions, the 20 Vultures, 30 Killer Mishes, 20 worms, 30 shishas, uh, 35 lord bees, and the 20 black horns for a total of 8,000 points. That brings a total of 129,150 hundred points. And our rank goes up from 16 to 14. Alright, so that's all I'm gonna do for now. Let's go ahead and continue on to the altar. Hey, are we there yet? What's gonna happen up here? Find out. Cutscene. There they are. It's Daytron. Be careful with that! Do you hear me? If you damage that tablet, you're fired! There's absolutely no need to worry, sir. We're taking every conceivable precaution. Huh? Is that a fact, Ezo? It's been a while, Professor. Thanks to you and your team of Daytron scientists, our boy is nearly complete. Him? He's all set. His cosmetic appearance has no bearing on his function. Oh, is that so, Professor? But it's always important to look good. You know, like me. <laughs> uh, I suppose. Oh. It looks like they're about to begin. So those must be hints. Well, what are they? Look over there. We probably have to place a key piece on each of these three pedestals. Those images are most likely telling us where we can find them. But that's... So... Where exactly are these key pieces? We have to figure these out first. Let's see, that's... a scale... and a crab? And this one's a lion. Huh? I don't get it. What do they all mean? Let us leave all of this stuff to the great minds of the Datron scientists. 
They ought to be able to find some kind of meaning to the clues before us. Did you hear that? Those are hints. Yeah, but who knows what it means? Let's keep watching. <sighs> Father, some rats have found their way in. I will dispose of them. Damn, we've been spotted. Mm -hmm. Oh, what perfect timing. Now we'll get to see what our new boy can do. Ah, damn it. Uh. Oh, come on now. Can we all get along? We're not hurting anything. Leave you alone. I cannot allow anyone to interfere with Father's business. Oh, you don't think a whole lot of being exposed. Alright, let's go ahead and use Duncan Burst Level 2. Oh crap, it's repelling our attacks. When he does that, you can't do damage him. Do I need to first again? Sure, keep yourself filled up. I think the battle will automatically end after a while. This guy's a badass, ain't he? This guy don't play. He's very agile, he's got a lot of defense. Way too tough for us. Oh crap. Yeah, like I said, don't get near him when he's doing that. He's fucking first again. Alright. Battle's gonna end here. It's no good. He's just too strong. What should we do? I don't know. We can't even run away. He's too fast. <sighs> what the? Follow me. <laughs> Vermin always run away so quickly. That was close, but you'll be safe here for now. You rescued us. But what are you doing here? Hey, Jester, who is this man? This is Desert Claw, the real Desert Claw. Really? The genuine article? He does look the part, Jester. A lot more than you, I suppose. Well, I'm off. See you later. Uh, wait. I want to ask you something. You gave me your sword on purpose, so that Dorgan Go and his crew would think that I was Desert Claw. Didn't you? Not at all. They drew their own conclusions. He's gone. Wow. He's definitely a strange one. Yeah. No kidding. Come on. The transporter will get us back to the ship. Oh, I see. All right, I get it now. But those three pictures, scale, crab, light, what does all of that mean anyway? Yeah, what do they mean? Crab and the lion. Uh, maybe 
country they stand for the rules of the ancient kings. Ancient king? Long ago, there was a king on each of the twelve planets in the Bocosa system. The Vidanian king's crypt was decorated with a crab. So they called him the Cancer King. The crypt is supposedly somewhere in the ancient ruins, found in the Vidan's underground water supply. I get it. The great Jurika jungle is home to the ruins of the Lilo King, who ruled ancient Jurika. So that means the two diagrams are pointing to the ancient rulers of two planets. Then what about the scales? Oh, that's an easy one. There's a Zorarian legend about two princes. Ages ago, two sons were born to a great Zorarian king. After their father died, the twin princes obeyed his dying wish and set out to rule the planet together in peace. But they were blinded by power and began to quarrel. Two towers were built to symbolize the two princes who no longer spoke to one another. This, the quarrel, the avoidance, it went on until the day they died. The two towers are still standing in Zerad, the Gladius Towers. Oh, I get it now. So that's where the scales come from. In other words, the three diagrams point to the ruins of ancient royalty. So somewhere within the ancient ruins of the three planets, we should be able to find something to unlock the mystery of the tablets. It looks like we have no choice but to go check them out. Wait just a minute! You can't act on a mere guess like that! Don't you have any solid evidence? Of course not. How could we? Then forget it! I won't let you go gallivanting around! Listen, Furball. All right, I get it now. Listen up, you dogs. We're gonna head for those Romans and find those cave pieces. Leave no stone unturned. Got that? The captain means business. <laughs> I've marked off on our map the starting points for investigating the three ruins. Come on, Mr. Rowe, let's be on our way. Alright, so apparently we gotta go to these ancient king ruins. One's in Draika, one's in Badan, and the other one's in. Gladius Towers. You have to go to the Leo King first, I believe. I, I think. I think you have to do them in a certain order. Well, let's see if there's more hunts in Zerard or not. So I think that triggers a new chapter, so I think we're in a new I think we're in chapter eight right now. After that cutscene. So also I want to check the Dr. Picaccio shop and see. Yeah, here we go. Meanwhile. So yeah, it is the start of a new chapter. How's everything coming, Mark? Great! Say, Dad, do you know about the ruins of the ancient kings? I don't know the details. You mean like the Gladius Towers? But that's not the only one. There are some on other planets, too, with secrets about treasure. I see. We're going after those secrets now. If I didn't have Steve, I would never have been able to do all this, would I? Thanks, Dad. I want you to know that I'm so glad I was reborn like this. Well then, I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. I'm so glad. 
About what? Oh, it's nothing, Mark. You be careful out there, my boy. Uh-huh. Alright. So let's see. I wanna head to the Starship Factory. Dr. Picaccio's lab and see if I can buy a certain item. I don't know what chapter, but I know in the later chapters you can buy stellar crystals. So I want to see if we can buy them now. Let's head here to the shop. Nope, we still can't buy them yet. Alright. Hey, should we Let's head to the Galaxy Corporation and see. There's any new hunts here. Don't fall behind, okay? Wow, you've been playing forever. Why don't you call it a day? Yeah, we got a new hunt here. Shapeless Assassin. Yep, we got two more here. Tower, the Tower of Predator and the Tower of Matador. That's it for now. We got some revelation items we can put to use here. Nebulated Egg. Given Zagram Fire Sword level 2. Very nice. Double A, double A neck there for Zagram to give him defense up level one. Double A neck. I really want a stellar crystal though. I know the frogman's dropped stellar crystal, so you can encounter the frogman in uh what area was that? Was it the dawn where you encountered the frogman? Alright, they're in Twin Sword. That's a very good move. It seems to it doubles his damage pretty much. One of my favorite moves for Zegra. Uh, spinning Moon for Kasala there. That's all the revelation we can do for now. Alright, um... You might be able to do these in any order though, but we're going to do Leo Kings first and Draco. So yeah. Alright, so I'm going to end the video here. In the next episode, we will head to the Leo King Altar in Draca. So, and I'm going to try to find out how to get a stellar crystal off screen. I know I can get one from the Frogmen. Let me go to check that real quick before I end. Where are the Frogmen at? Okay, yeah, they are in Badon. So, yeah. So, 
So I'm gonna go fight Bob Ben off screen and I'm gonna try to get a Stella Crystal from him. So I'm in the video here and I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And be sure to check out my other guides and videos on my channel. Please subscribe. Later.